Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew. Blind, we've just done our first story mission successfully, it was quite a fight, but we did. And also, the game now has a difficulty setting here, uh, for tagging mode, classic, semi-automatic or automatic. Semi-automatic means that enemy fighters will be tagged automatically when a member of your crew is at the comm station. Pretty nice, but I'll probably leave all that to default. You've also got actual difficulty. Crew size, which you can actually now increase by one. You'll be able to recruit an extra weapons officer, reducing the need to move your crew between stations. Uh, but on Classic, it says this is how we recommend you play the game. You'll need to prioritize where to place your crew and how they are used. I, uh, I'm really tempted to try increased because we'll uh, be able to recruit another of your soldiers that you've applied for. But, you know, it'll make things easier, so I don't know. I don't know if I should do that. For now, I'll keep it on Classic, I think. Also, Slow Time, Classic, Unlimited it off. We've never actually used it, but I'll keep it on Classic for now. So just, you know, have the faults on. We've got some new crew gear available. Let's see what it is. What it is. Uh, so we've got... Oh, no, don't show me new stuff. I don't want to see new stuff now. They've, they've added that. We've got a heavy armored suit, Mark 1. Nice. A heavily armored suit which offers good protection at the expense of some mobility and a radiation suit mark 2 which still gives you uh, faster speed but a lot more radiation protection it looks the same I think well slightly different yeah so uh, yeah we'll be doing the heavy armor suit I think that's pretty good especially for dr. loco what else is new gloves the powered gloves. A set of powered gloves which improve the mobility of the wearer. Interesting. Why would gloves improve the mobility of the wearer? <laughs> uh, I suppose in zero G maybe the... I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, but okay. So, nothing here. Uh, we'll just go to the suit and give... Uh, well, probably everyone else. I mean, it does in decrease their speed quite a bit. But it's... Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, equip the... Heavy stuff. Yogurt, equip the heavy stuff. Alcove as well. And Hex Demon, of course, as well. Nate Noob will not have that. Um, uh oh. What's going on? Whoa. Game there just froze for a bit. I thought it was going to crash. That was bizarre. So this does slow you down a little bit. But I think I'll equip the Radiation Suit Mark two for now for him and the gloves he's got the radiation ones I could do the powered gloves which give you uh, a lot more speed but I think we're gonna keep it like this as is for now all right spacecraft stuff what do we have here we've got some new weapons oh what is that oh a missile launcher a missile pod that launches salvos of guided missiles, each carrying an explosive warhead. Effective at dislodging armor plating, less effective against energy shields. Can operate without reactor power. That's quite interesting. A lot of uh, damage. I wonder if that's DPS. I really hope it is. That's quite a lot, actually. I think we'll uh, replace one of our auto cannons with it. This side one, because it's, you know, always in an odd position. Yeah, let's get some. Oh, it's very expensive, though. But let's try it out. Let's see how it is. Uh, also, they said that they changed the way... Oh, yeah, there's seven escape pods uh, possible now. What the heck is this? Oh, they have better escape pods, but it shows you how much research you need. Uh, they said that you can now switch this stuff around without having to pay for it again. I'm not really sure how you switch it around. Can you say nothing? Yeah, you can say nothing. So, for example, over here, we could say we want nothing... And we just add the phase rifle to somewhere, but there's no really, no place to actually add it. So we'll just leave it here as is. <laughs> All right, let's go to the missions. I, I want to try out that uh, new missile pod. All right, rescue astronomer, transport supplies, investigate phasma activity or phasma mothership. We've decrypted further data from the recovered probe. It detected a large object near Pluto. Our, ooh. Our analysis uh, leads us to believe it could be a spacecraft. Go and investigate. That's a big ship. Very high risk. Wait, this is not a high risk. This is a very high risk. Look at that thing. It's got turrets. I'm guessing those are turrets. 
Oh man. Yeah, that looks uh, dangerous. Let's do investigate phasmic activity first. Get some nice money, some nice research. Okay, as per usual. Uh, there you go, more into engines. Off we go. Launch. Fireflies off. Where's my music? They've also improved some of the stuff, like uh, if your oxygen thing goes out, there'll be, I think, an audible alarm, it said. Um, and it'll be more, it will, it'll be clear that you've got power out because the turrets will turn red. So that's pretty cool. I mean, the plasma ones, obviously. All right. Charging for hyperjump power diverted to engines. Power! Soul. Corona. Oh, wow, we were right at the sun. Look at that. That looks so cool. Oh, that looks awesome if you do it like this. Look. I love the glow around it. They did that properly. That's awesome. That's really cool. Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's see. Let's see the, uh, the missiles now. Wait, did I place the missiles at the front? No, I didn't. The missiles that there, there goes the missiles. I cannot quite see them. I think they exploded. Oh, there's more of them coming. Big ones everywhere. Let's go to defensive piloting now. Right, there's the missiles. Let's see what they do. They're going right for that transport. They missed. Hmm. It's not so good, and they're very slow firing. Oh, that was good, though. Oh. Yeah, I think they've, uh, that patch has, uh, improved these guys. They now actually fire on you. Instead of before, where they just sort of stuck around and didn't know what to do. So let's see the missiles again. I'm not that impressed for that kind of money. Skilled, uh... Skilled turret operators should be better at hitting stuff as well now. Come on. Where's my missiles? Hmm. Oh, more of them coming. Oh, I didn't see this guy. Well, darn it. Attack enemies. What are they doing? Get him! Get him! Excellent. What is Alcove doing? Just go back. Okay, fix that, please. There's more stuff we haven't tagged. Where is it? Okay, go, go, go. Get right back. What, what are you doing? You're floating away. Get back from the turrets. Yeah, not, not quite a fan of those missiles right now. I don't know. They seem to miss a lot. Um, my guys are still pretty bad at shooting stuff. Come on. Darn it. I want to see missiles come into their own. I suppose for larger enemies, really. But larger enemies really aren't that much of a problem. They noob can go and just top up. Whoosh. All right, asteroid field. Epsilon. We just have to clear the enemies here. Going back, excellent. There they are. All right, let's see the missiles. They shouldn't really miss these big guys. Okay, they did hit. Well, two of them hit, one of them missed. Not a huge fan so far, I have to say. Yeah, but wow, all of these guys are much better into getting into uh, to where they need to be to attack us. Yeah, they're still yeah. Now they're attacking. Also, that guy. Two missiles hit him. Not too bad. Come on, get him. I think we'll uh, we'll have borders much more often now as well because of this. Nice. 
There's the missiles. Boom. Yeah, I don't know. Was it really worth it? I mean, they're pretty expensive. We've tried them out, but not very, not impressed that much right now. Because see, the normal turrets. Yeah, see, these guys are a lot better at uh, climbing onto us now. We'll have a lot more borders. <laughs> Yeah, the, the turrets do a decent job of taking out the big ones. And the missiles just take so long to fire. Look, missiles are going. One, two, three of them hit, but didn't actually destroy it. Oh, missiles going again? So they've got a much faster fire rate than I thought. Yeah, look at that. Okay. I take it back. It's not too bad. I suppose that's good because on this side, if he's got nothing to fire at half of the time, it would be nice if he could fire without line of sight, though, because they are homing missiles. Let's see the scanner. Anything going on? No. I should really use more uh, performance analysis, to be honest. Get that one. Otherwise, we're getting borders. Nice. Anything else? No, nope, there's going to be more, I think. It says clear enemies still. No, nope, that's it. Well, that was an easy mission. That was a medium risk? Seriously? Bit of a waste of that performance analysis, but maybe it's still going to be on when we get to the next part. Charge. Is our, uh... I love this place. This is so cool. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? There's a dropped cargo pot of essential resources in your current sector. If you can get them back to base, it would mean a few extra credits. Yes, please. You can also use more extra... Always use more extra credits. I love the fact that this is now red because it's turned off. I just wish this uh, little thing would go away. Because I know it's off. I've turned it off. Okay. Let's get this cargo. Is it Phasmid? No, it's ours. Not aligned to any object. Retrieve! Lovely. We can also jettison, which is pretty cool. Now there's enemies coming. And there's Earth all the way in the distance. The pale blue dot. Look at that, that's so cool. Love that. Alright, where, where are they? There they are. We're on a defensive. We could go on an attack vector, but... Eh. See, the missile turrets are always over here, for some reason, facing the way. Hello! Come on, get the borders. Get the borders, please. They can't get close yet. Destroyed enemy fighter, excellent. No, no. Don't want borders. Yeah, they're gonna be much more of a problem, though. Let's see the missiles. They're just not holding, though, what? Yeah, but they do fire a lot more often. So that's good. Oh, excellent. Actually took them out. Let's see. That's a big one. One of them hit. One of them hit again. It's not too bad. I suppose it's still dependent on the guy... Using the missile launcher? Nice. Let's see the one of them hit there. For the fighters. Nice. So, so yeah, yeah, I suppose not too bad. The missiles. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, not too bad actually. Because we wouldn't be able to hit that guy going away from us. Let's also use some uh, focus here. Lovely. Let's also use focus for uh, Nade Noob, who does the missiles. Let's see what happens, if that changes anything. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they all three hit there. That was nice. Nice. Okay, I'm actually much more of a fan of the missiles now. That's pretty darn good. Nice. 
That was lovely. All right. This wasn't really medium risk. This felt like low risk. But then again, we have some pretty experienced crew and good equipment. And of course, Dr. Loco has been drinking on the job. So yeah, he's pretty good at that. And the piloting stuff. It's so rad. I love this place. So close to the star. <clears throat> Power! And we have the uh, stuff in the cargo bay for the extra monies. Lovely. Lovely. Huh. Tag Athena Station. That was also a pretty uh, quick mission. Easy money. Yeah. Um, the missiles are quite okay, actually. When we have those stalemates where... Oh, 1,500 credits. Not bad. Yeah, when we have those stalemates where we just cannot hit anything... Um, and they cannot hit us. Yeah, missiles would be quite good. Until recently presumed missing. Recovered. We're under attack. They appeared from nowhere. Okay. What's the missions? <clears throat> Rescue astronomer. Clear out phasmid forces. Escort transport. Let's clear out some phasmid forces, shall we? It's a short, sweet mission, and we're pretty good at this now. Yes, I will change everything. I just want to get going. So, uh, where is the objective? There it is. Donate noob. That goes. Uh, there it goes. There we go. And of course, you can go here. And we're ready. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good thing. Well, actually, wait a second. What are you doing? I thought I told you to go. Uh, the accuracy. Yeah, it's still 54%, but I don't know about missiles. Does that count then? The asteroid bat belt alpha. I should probably shut off the tips here. <laughs> Uh, let's see where the enemies are coming from. Still nothing. Still nothing. Gotta get a better scanner. Still nothing. There they go. They're right on the side with missiles. I don't think missiles will be pretty good here in the... Oh, no. And both of them missed. And one hit the asteroid. And there's more coming. Let's do some evasive. No, 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 an evasive. Ugh, that was stupid. I didn't want to do that. I wanted defensive, not evasive piloting. Nobody can hit any. Oh, but the missiles can still do good stuff here, I think. Yeah, look at that. They cannot hit us, but the missiles can. Huh. That's pretty good. I don't mind that at all, actually. Uh, we'll do performance analysis in the objective area. Uh, those missiles all missed, but that's okay. Those also all missed. It's really not good for uh, firing like that, perpendicularly, I suppose. Nice. What was that? Something about... Oh, that was a camera thing. Okay. Anything else in the scanner? No. Our shields are holding up brilliantly. That missile actually destroyed that one. Nice. Maybe I should really put the missiles up here. Because this guy... This guy can hit stuff quite reliably very often. And those missiles all missed. There we go. And also hit the other one. Excellent! Yeah, that was good. Nobody is hurt. That's excellent. All the systems are working. Perfect. All shields restored. You can press tab to toggle fast forward. Well, okay. Let's press tab then. If it wants us to do that so bad. Engage. 
Man, this game is fun. Creeper Belt Alpha. Defensive, please. We just need to clear out the enemies. Okay. Where are they? Hello. Right in the path of our miss. No, not in the path of our missiles, but that's okay. Nice. They got a lot of shields, these guys, actually. Do they buff them up? Looking at the scanner, nothing else yet. There goes the missiles. Excellent. Now there's new stuff. Now let's do performance analysis. And also fighter support, because I think when fighters destroy stuff, we also get uh, XP. So with performance analysis, that's a pretty good thing for me. Nice! Okay, I'm liking missiles more and more now. That was a good investment. Because look, from this far away, our guys cannot hit anything apart from the missiles. Which are still missing, of course. But look at that. That was one hit out of three. That one, one hit out of three. And destroyed it. Perfect! And it's these annoying ones we can also hit. Look. These uh, phasmid interceptors. I just call them interceptors, even though I don't really know exactly what they are. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, those missiles all missed. I still want to keep a tab out, uh, an eye out on them. Oh, and they go for other targets as well, I guess. Yeah, they have a lot more problems hitting these guys. But that's one, one hit. Nice. Yeah, that's not gonna hit. There's just one remaining, right? We still have performance analysis going on. That was quite a bit of extra stuff. Two of them hit. Perfect. Very nice. I think that might have been it. Oh, that was brilliant. Thank you, guys. Thanks for joining. Bye. <laughs> you go and retreat. Oh, we might take too long. What is that? Is that one of our fighters? Oh, it's probably one of our fighters. On the scanner. Retreating to refuel. Yeah, they're still there. All right. Um, oh. Scannable. Unidentified phasmic technology. There's some phasmic technology debris near your position. Scan it so that our researchers can learn more about it. Alright, we will. I love this creepy music. Unidentified. We'll scan with Solisphere. Scan. And it's on the way to... Uh, to the hyper jump place, so that's pretty good. Don't bump into them, please. There we go. Scanning in progress. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, no, he actually, uh. Wait. We didn't scan it because he had to move. Because of the asteroid. Ah! Okay, that's fine. Well, we're gonna get enemies anyway. So now we can do it in peace. I don't see any moving asteroids anywhere. That's a different looking phasmid thing than before. And we're done. Excellent. And enemies incoming, of course. We could run, but who wants to run? Come on. We want more XP, more stuff. We're not running. Yeah, we could just run right now. Oh, shield charger about to fail. We don't want that. So where are they? There they are. Still repairing that. I want those missiles though. They're pretty good. Let me just tag that other thing. Alright, off you go. Made noob. Now. Let's have some lovely focus fire everywhere. It doesn't matter if we throw it away. Just do it. Do it. Power. Yeah. Go missiles. Go. <laughs> Stop exploding everywhere. Oh, I love it. 
Oh, ouch, they actually got through our shields. Uh, Yogurt, get me some shields, please. Even though you're in focus. And there's the shields. Oh yeah, they've also changed how the shields work. Did you see that? They actually started charging up from like 30 now. Or something like that. So, uh, makes it a lot easier. Is there more over there I saw? No. Missiles missing, going crazy, but that's good. I mean, it's not good, but it's fine, because I'm actually happy with the missiles. Oh, nice. Right, let's go to the... It's one and a half kilometers away. Oh. Hey, noob. We need to fix the oxygen. We kind of need the oxygen on this ship. Even though, only these guys would suffer. Solosphere and Dr. Loco. Because everyone in the uh, turrets is actually fine. They have their own oxygen supply. Ouch. That hurt. That was not very nice. Go and heal up. Just top up. Oh, wait. Lovely. I think we're done here anyway. Because this is already to uh, Athena Station. These phasmas are getting very close to Earth. I don't like it. Earth is ours. This entire solar system is ours. Alright. Tag Athena Station to land. Lovely. And something's going wrong again. <laughs> I think it's the shield... Uh, shield thing. Uh, generator. Nice. That was an easy mission. And some extra stuff we got. Look at that. 750 research from that uh, scan. Nice. Nice. Weapon overdrive reactor boost 2. We never use that, but uh, should probably do it. Temporarily gives a medium boost to the power output of the reactor, but then you have, to, then you have to have the engineer on the power thingy seat control and then redistribute power. And then I don't know how it would go back on the power when when the reactor boost was done. You know, would it go back to the original settings? I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.